is Triple R Midday News with Louisa Wright. The latest world university rankings have shown Australia's top institutions are slipping, while their Asian counterparts are on the rise. The CEO of Universities Australia, Belinda Robinson, says the government's cuts to university funding is at odds with being competitive in the global university market. Uh, withdrawing investment the in shutdown university. of the notorious Silk Road online black market for illegal drugs and weapons has hit the value of an electronic currency called Bitcoin. The semi-anonymous electronic currency is used to make untraceable transactions online. The FBI has charged Silk Road's administrator, Ross Ulbricht, he went by the name Dread Pirate Roberts, with a range of offences. Prosecutors say Silk Road is the most sophisticated and extensive criminal marketplace on the internet. Under the new measures, what will employers face if they are found to be employing illegal workers? The new regulations rise out of the recommendations of the HALS review. They do complement the existing uh, offences, but there will be new provisions. New infringement notices and civil penalties will range from uh, $3,060 to a maximum of $76,500 per illegal worker. The latest international rate increases from Virgin Mobile will see customers paying up to 12 times more for calls made to some areas of the Pacific. The worst affected Pacific islands include Papua New Guinea, Solomon Islands, the Cook Islands, Tokelau and Nauru, which will all cost $25 per minute to call. The New Zealand Tongan Advisory Council chairman, Molino Marker, says the rate changes will affect Pacific Islanders living in Australia and New Zealand because phone calls are their main form of contact with friends and family in the Pacific. We are not a people of um, writing letters, you know. Have you found that support from Japan has increased as you've been doing the campaigns? Yeah, we have seen over the years, this will be our 10th Antarctic campaign, that support from Japan is growing stronger. More and more people are donating from within Japan. Opinions in French Polynesia are split either way. So why do you think we should be leaning one way if there is no major consensus? Uh, because uh, self-determination is a basic right. Uh, there was no consensus. They never asked to be colonised. Are these violent incidents causing a shortage of healthcare personnel? They are. Uh, in certain circumstances where security is very difficult, of course, people who have medical knowledge or uh, expertise are less likely to stay. And also in some situations, particularly in parts of South America, you find that entire communities are living without health services because the health personnel have left.